plans to go on a two-year mission, church mission, to Ecuador and then attend either BYU or the University of Oregon to play football and study biochemistry. It is my honor to ask Kate and Mon to come to the stadium. We are Chiawana. Today, June 7th, marks the six-month anniversary of when my brothers of blue and silver and I stood on the floor of the Tacoma Dome and laughed, cried in shock and sudden realization of becoming state champions. The time and work that went into that game, the emotion, sweat, blood, tears of sadness and tears of joy, and prayers when we had nothing else left, all made that game and the way we won it something I will never forget. The battle in the trenches, the tax wag, the pass, the drive, the kicks, the neon shoes. Everything from the last four years of preparation boiled down into those last minutes. I can still remember looking up with emotion into the stands after the game and seeing our student body, our killer band, our parents, and our community members, many who were even wearing purple and white, who had traveled across the state to support us. On that day, our community felt united. On that day, we are Chiawana took on a whole new meaning. For that moment, life was just about perfect. Unfortunately, life is not always perfect. Life is a storm. You will bask in the sunlight on one day and be battered against the rocks the next. What makes you a man or a woman is what you do when the storm comes. We are Chiawana. Work ethic and commitment determine future. Commitment to anything will produce success. A state championship requires commitment. Success in our future occupations will require commitment. Successful husbands or wives must be committed. Successful fathers or mothers must be committed. These are the true heroes and champions of society. The unsung, committed people who do their best and may not receive any glory. The offensive linemen of the world. The ones who go and battle their daily battles and who sacrifice and work hard to make the world better for those around them. They are not famous, they are not glamorous, but they are heroes. Today, I am inviting you to join their ranks. Become a true hero. Work like a champion. Commit everything you have to everything you do. Understand that you will come up short along the way, but there is hope. Even if you are down 13, with a minute 13 to play in the biggest game of your career. Never give up, never say die. We are Chiawana. We execute and we dominate. We know nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. We will believe when others doubt. No one will define us. No one will tell us what we cannot achieve. No one will say we have not given all that we have, and no one will take our reward. We have a commitment to greatness in whatever we do, a commitment to act with class and leave the world a better place, a commitment to see blue in all we do. We are Chiawana. Let this become a rallying cry for students, alumni, and this strong community to remember that their school, and by extension themselves, stand for something special and are capable of amazing things. We are Chiawana. We are champions because we work like champions. We are blue and silver, noble and proud, forever strong. Let it echo from our beloved gravel pit, or as I call it, the nest, to the Tri-Cities, to Tacoma, to Pullman, to Seattle, to the East Coast, to the West Coast, around the world, wherever we go. Let everyone know who we are. We are! We are! We are! We are! We are! We are!
I would now like to introduce a young woman who has attended Whittier, Edwin Markham, Mark Twain, McLaughlin, and Chiawana High School. She will be going to Pacific Lutheran to double major in business administration and political science. Please welcome the salutatorian for the class of 2014, Ms. Sandra Gutierrez.